Hello everybody, Nottinghamshire Madness fans. Welcome to another video. This one's on the uh, Bilingo micro camper. I'm just cleaning out, getting things ready for a, a summer of fun as it were. So I thought I'd give you a walk around before I start chucking stuff in it so you can see the bare basics of, of what I have and what I use. So it's a Citroen Bilingo M59 model, I think they call it. This is a passenger seat all the way forwards. I did modify the uh, reclining mechanism so it folds forwards a little bit more to accommodate the bed. Under there, I've, there's a little bit of space. I've just got the, uh, the window screens under there. And the space under the bed which I access from the other side let's go around the back this is the back view that's my little uh, kitchen unit mats plates crockery cookware stuff like that and then bottom drawer is for the food or mainly the food I've got a folding table here a collapsible bowl one of those stands to put the iPad on I always have this thing in the back open up charging up that's the power bank solar power thing should I need any any extra power for me for my phone and normally charge like everyone else is on the move under the bed at this end I've got me outdoor and groundworks kit so there's a box here it's got a power lead the side the end for the canopy first aid kits in there just pan and brush so that's my outdoor groundworks camping chair and the obligatory kite Waterproof coat down there, which I always have with me. That's my uh, power unit. That's a camping power unit, which you access from here. It is earth out to the bodywork, and that's the shortest run I could do to the to the power outlet. The smoke alarm's up in the top of the window at the moment that goes up up there I took it down for some reason so there's the bed laid out you saw the bed in a previous video it was a futon type thing I bought off marketplace for 20 quid and the uh, the mattress was an eBay purchase of about the same sort of price so that's the bed in place I have another one of those plastic boxes that goes under there for my clothes my bedding goes in a IKEA dimpler bag, which just sits at the back. The larger blinds to the windows are under the bed, actually, under the mattress. Under there, I've got a set of curtains, which aren't up at the moment. You can probably just see the wire there and there. One across the front, one across the dashboard that goes in. hooks on here to uh, just hold the curtain against the dashboard in fact there's there's the wire again driver's seats all the way forwards I do sometimes have the driver's seat in driving position because I can if I'm out where I probably shouldn't be camping I can slip out of bed into the seat and drive off so I always try to keep the driver's seat clear and if I'm out where I shouldn't be I'll um I'll have the seat back in the driving position. There's the Adventure Ridge Audi toilet. Flip flops. So the Adventure Ridge is easy to use at night. Should I need to use it, I just slide it forwards to here. So <clears throat> you can sit there with your feet in the footwell, do whatever's necessary, and uh, slide it back. There's only me uses it, so I'm sleeping in my own muck. 
as it were. This is the other end of the unit. I could show you that actually, but let's, let's have a climb in. Another drawer here, which is toiletries, meds, <coughs> bits of bobs, stuff you need to get at night. Probably, uh, probably a book or wash bag goes in there, stuff like that. I do need to put some hooks on this to hang the towel and my flannel on. Pack a mac. I don't know why I have the pack a mac in there because I've got my coat. But if you get wet, a lantern here. This space here, this thing's, <coughs> these two things are quite good. Um, when I've got the roof box on, this thing, <coughs> I'll do that outside. And you've seen this, this is what goes on the tailgate to keep the tailgate vented, should the climatic conditions allow you to. There's a little can holder, bottle holder, I use, when I'm camping I use uh, two litre plastic bottles of water because a two litre bottle you can stow them anywhere, they fit into the, they fit into the Blingo door pockets, you can put them in anywhere so you can get quite a few two litre bottles of water sashed in the van and um, and you know you can uh, access it quite easy this this hooks in there is a step not easy to use <coughs> not brilliant but when you stand here you can step there and um, access the roof box that was off Amazon or eBay. Not a lot of money. They're not a good fit on the building though. Some cars are supposed to fit here. As you can see, it doesn't. So I think this on a lot of vehicles is, is bigger than on the building I don't know about the modern, new series being like building goes. Three bar roof rack. I do have a roof box that goes on there, one of those full length ski boxes, it's absolutely massive, it's as long as a car nearly, but you can get loads of stuff in there, so I can get a tent in there, a tent camping kit, and all that. I've got a direct 4x4 awning, that is brilliant. So that comes on this side, I put it on the driver's side because the roof box opens on the passenger side. I'd rather have this on your side but then it makes it awkward. Got a bike rack on there as well. So I always take a bike on a camp. So that's the van in the raw. My bedding goes in a IKEA dimpler bag, sits on here. <clears throat> Obviously when I'm travelling and the seats are in place, this is folded up like that and the, <coughs> the mattress is over <coughs> and that just rests back on the um, on the seat. <coughs> so that's it. Loads of storage space as you know in the building goes. That's my little walk round of uh, the van in the raw. The temperatures are getting better, we're almost into double figure temperatures at night and that's my sort of, that's my threshold for, for going camping at my age and uh, the old arthritic body and all that so my threshold is double figures at night and we're, we're getting there so I shall be out and about and I'm off to the Netherlands in it in June hopefully Drop me a comment as to where you're going. <coughs> Drop me a comment as to what you would do differently as well. I mean, this has worked fine for me up to yet. I can get my Brompton. 
in this gap here because I always take a bike obviously a big bike you can put on the roof anyway thanks for watching my little video on the uh, Bilingo micro camper and uh, please leave the comments about what you do and also where you're going to go thank you guys catch you on the next one